Hi guys, Seeker4761 here with another episode of Game Review Thursday. This week we're going to talk about that flipping mountain, as you can see in my, I guess to my left, your lower right hand corner. That flipping mountain is a physics driven parkour game inspired by Getting Over It and Jump King. Flip, ski, and dive yourself up a massive mountain of stuff. Fall down, rage, get up, shake it off, and parkour on. Uh, yeah, that's actually a very, as an app description, because this game is basically a test in what happens if the primary game loop is the is the whole game. There's really nothing else to it. You do one thing, and you do one thing well. So I guess we'll see if that's interesting. Let's uh, let's get into it, shall we? So we're in here. First thing you noticed, at least the first thing I definitely noticed, is the unbelievably simple art style. Uh, no color. It is all grayscale. Got pretty interesting mountains. There is some texture and depth to it. There is some movement as well, but it's super simplified. We are we are definitely in a minimalist style game here. I guess we should probably do the tutorial, right? You launch. You hit it down. You let go. And right there, it tells you exactly what you're supposed to do. Tuck, untuck, and land. Simple as that. That is the entire game, and I failed already. Basically, the point is to get this little guy here up the mountain and as far as he can go. And you'll see the mountain here in a second. You flip him around, and you basically want to have him land on his feet. I'm not going to lie. After playing this game, I have a little bit more respect for for like parkours and gymnasts and people like that because it's actually... This game's a little bit difficult. I'm not going to lie. Oh, ragdoll there. Oh my gosh. You will be failing a lot. Looking at the bottom, you see I have the play time for this particular run, number of successful jumps, and the number of failed jumps, as well as the total jumps. Of course, if you can do the math, there's going to be a lot of failure. This, this game is not particularly forgiving, but when you make a land, hey, look, another successful jump. Oh my gosh, I am a parkour god. The physics of this game is actually pretty simple. It makes sense, except when it doesn't kind of like right there, but that's okay. That is pretty much the entire game. Again, as I said, it is a test in if a game can be called a game if it does one thing very well. Dare I say it is the Dark Souls of parkour physics games. Oh, failure, failure again. Oh, failure again. Not a very forgiving game, as I said. Of course, I could just get better at games, but that is not what we're going to do. Plenty of obstacles to jump over. You can get on a bit of a roll once you finally figure out the timing, but then all of a sudden, like, the landing area, the angle changes a little bit, and it screws everything up, and all of your, all of your progress just goes to hell. You're going to lose a lot. Lots of failed jumps. Here. Oh, my gosh. Can I get there? Ah, oh, got to do this. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah. All right, here we go. Oh, my God, I made it. Let's see if I can land. It's okay, it's okay. No! Oh! God. Oh, my God, this game. Let me out. Patience. Patience is the key. You're going to be doing tiny little jumps to get into better position to actually make a, a jump because sometimes you are screwed. And as you get higher up the mountain, you start to find other little fun areas. You got a little spring jump here. Uh, this apparently is another little spring jump area, these little black areas. And as you get farther up the mountain, you find a lot of cool new stuff. The music of the game is pretty, pretty calming, actually, because uh, it is a infuriating game, but it's pretty good. So I think uh, now that I've finally gotten past base camp here and starting to make my way up the mountain, I think we're going to speed it up here a little bit. Uh, you guys are probably going to see a huge montage of me failing because I'm at 102 jumps. I've only succeeded in 59 of them. A success meaning that I actually land on my feet. At least I'm over 50%. So that's something. So yeah, let's speed it up here and we'll see you guys in about a minute.
Oh my god, I made it. Ah, oh, got to the next. I wouldn't call it a checkpoint per se, but basically, once you get to areas that are marked, such as this Church of the Sky here, uh, you are probably you're not going to go any farther back down the mountain, as in when you inevitably fail some of these jumps. Oh uh, yes, about 141 jumps got up here in uh, about 15 minutes. This is pretty good, honestly. Let's let's see how much of a mountain I have to I still have to scale. All right. Yeah, we are down here, and we have to get up to here, I think. Maybe even farther. Maybe back down the other side. I don't know. I've never gotten that far. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, no, that's not happening right now. But maybe later. Fun. Still an interesting game. Fun in some regards. So, yeah, that is uh, that Flipping Mountain. It is a... A game for sure takes a different kind of gamer one who likes to beat their head against the wall to really to really like this game it does get frustrating at times but that is part of the fun I want to say it's it's unforgiving in the sense of if you if you miss your your landing you will fall and ragdoll a little bit but if you do land on your feet it, it will catch I haven't had a failure yet the game is pretty stable um, as I said, it's a very simple game. Uh, the tutorial is obviously incredibly simple. There doesn't seem to be any accessibility settings or difficulty settings. But if you if you like games like that, like this, where they do one thing well and they do it really well, I would say this might be the game for you. I guess we should wrap it up. My name is Seeker4761. You can find me in all the socials uh, as Seeker4761. I am also a contributor to thetechpirate.net, where you can find uh, your news, reviews, gripes, and more about the tech world. And yeah, I think we're gonna I think we're gonna keep flipping around a little bit and see if I can maybe get to the top of the summit, which probably isn't gonna happen for a good three or four hours. But we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>